Barney Hill and Betty Hill, this is a story that I've known since I was a kid. Um, my dad is Barney Hill, the abductee's son. He's one of two sons, him and my uncle Daryl. And I don't know, I, I think because I've always known about the story, it's it's one of those things that's not a big deal because you grew up knowing it, you know? Like I would tell people and then I'd be surprised that they were like, no way, really? Like usually I just thought people would just laugh about it. So um, it wasn't until I went on Joe Rogan that uh, I had, all my team knew about it. So my coaches were like, yo, make sure to tell Joe Rogan about the alien stuff because like, he's really into that stuff. I'm like, oh, okay, sure. And then when I went on there, we were like rambling on about like elephants doing paintings and shit. So like, I never got to that part. But, um, but my father was his son. He, my grandmother is actually um, not Betty, but, oh, oh, thank you. Um, my grandmother is not Betty, but she is his first wife. And so we didn't really have connection with Barney and Betty after the divorce. So after the abduction, my dad, you know, he stayed in contact, but he wasn't really super in my, in my grandfather's life. And then he died in the, uh, in the seventies, I think. So he never, we never had a relationship with them but the story's always been very close to our to our family um everyone on my dad's side believed the story uh, all all his extended family they either knew uh barney hill or they believed the story that happened just because they knew of him they knew he was credible um this and that so yeah that's that's really all it is it's just my my family has been kind of forgotten in that part. Like you see mention of Barney Hill having two sons, but that's as far as it goes. So I'm the grandfather via Barney Hill the um, third and Ruby Hill, who was Barney Hill's first wife. And then you find out, you get wind that Netflix is producing a documentary, a project on this and your thoughts are? Well, oh, my, my thoughts are just like, hey, uh, get some perspective from the other side of the family because uh, I, I feel like because Barney Hill died so early, you don't see the other side, which is kind of a very interesting part of it because one of the things they always go back to is the fact that it's an interracial couple, which is very odd in the 60s. It, it wasn't really a thing. So if anything part of me believes that part of the reason they were picked up by aliens or whatever it was, was because they stood out, they looked different and they wanted to see what was going on there. Um, so I think just adding that perspective, especially because it's, a, it's from what I heard, it's gonna be produced by Higher Ground, which is uh, the Obama um, production company. They do a lot of uh, storytelling, especially for people of color. So I felt like it would be, at least interesting to get that side of the story, whether it's them talking to my father or talking to my, my great aunts or uncles or, uh, you know, uh, extended family that actually knew Barney Hill personally, because I think that'll bring a lot more life to the story. So my next question, you, I guess you kind of answered it. You haven't heard from anybody since your initial Instagram post. No, no, I, I just put it out there because it's not the first thing I've heard. I've, I've seen ever since they released those documents, the, the like UFO uh, documents that they were hiding for so long. Ever since that, I think it was about two years ago, I've been seeing a lot of Barney and Betty Hill stuff in, in production. And I was even talking to another company about doing doing something with them, like a documentary type thing where I do go to to um, to my extended relatives and and talk to them about it, including my dad and my uncle. Um, but all these things take time. So it sucks when you see something being produced and it's already it's already greenlit. It's ready to go. And you're like, man, I really wish my family was part of it because uh, we've pretty much been written out of of that part of the story, and I think it's I think it's one of the one of the uh, one of the parts that make it more interesting. 
we're going to get this out there, do a good story. So if your message is for the people that are, you know, behind this project, what would you say to them? What would Angela Hill's message be to the, to those behind this project? Um, I would say, I would say that if you're going to do a story about the first black man to be abducted by aliens, get the black side of his family to talk about it. 